This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, November the 20th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Before we get started, I want to congratulate NASA and NOAA on the launch of the GOES-R satellite yesterday afternoon from the Cape Kennedy, Cape Canaveral area. And uh, it was a beautiful shot. And uh, there's a, a quick picture of the launch. Uh, it'll be uh, a few weeks yet as it has to go through some checkouts, but uh, we should be getting the high-resolution data uh, coming down from that satellite in uh, in a couple of months or so. Meanwhile, back at home on the terrestrial ball we call Earth, uh, you can see how the temperature slid from about uh, 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon uh, all the way down to this morning, where at my house I was down around uh, 29 degrees. Satellite image this morning shows we do have clear skies over all of the southeastern U.S., the lakes and the rivers showing up quite nicely. The clear skies, thanks to a high-pressure uh, system that is over the central U.S., basically along the Mississippi River Valley, and uh, that's going to be settling into the southeast U.S., creating another cold night tonight and into early Monday. Uh, the upper atmospheric situation is that we have a trough over the eastern coast of the United States, and that, of course, helping to bring us some pretty chilly air with that northwesterly fetch. This morning, the temperature range across central Alabama was pretty large. Uh, we had 23 at one of our sky watchers, and uh, we have 38 at Anniston, Oxford, so uh, quite a range in temperatures across the area. Uh, but the freeze warning that was issued yesterday for this morning looks like it was pretty good for the northern half of the state of Alabama. The dark blue you see on the watch warning map are freeze warnings for tonight and into Monday. Uh, the blues are wa freeze watches. The pinks are high fire danger. Uh, and then up along uh, in New York, you see a combination of winter weather advisories and uh, some heavy snow as uh, they're expecting some snow up in that area. Uh, the QPF is somewhat encouraging for some rain on Wednesday. It looks like the rain will be sort of like what we've seen in the past. That is, we're going to be on the trailing edge of the front, and so the rain will be more prevalent north. But again, it looks like the possibility that uh, some parts of Alabama could see on the order of a third of an inch, and we'll take whatever we can get. Storm Prediction Center has uh, some thunderstorms forecast on the west coast for day one. For day two, the thunderstorms are over the Four Corners area and uh, into Nebraska. And then for day three, they do have a marginal risk uh, over eastern Oklahoma and uh, east and southeast Texas. And the tropics in the Atlantic, uh, the system in the southwest Caribbean is beginning to show signs of uh, organizing a bit. Still expected to move slowly and erratically and probably is not going to affect more than just Central America, uh, bringing primarily uh, rains. All right, the 06C GFS model run this morning, and there's our surface map. You can see the high just coming in uh, over the lower Mississippi River Valley. In the upper atmosphere for Monday, we see the trough is uh, essentially moving off the east coast and off New England, but we're still under a northwesterly flow, and that, together with the high settling in over the area, is going to set up absolutely excellent radiational cooling uh, situation. So it looks like we will probably see the coldest morning be Monday morning and expect to see a lot of 20 degree readings across the area. And that means even uh, maybe a few spots might even dip into the upper teens, those normally colder spots. By Tuesday, we're under a, an upper ridge. So we begin to warm up. It looks like temperatures climb back up into the 60s. The upper ridge is there Wednesday, but we do see a fast-moving trough coming across the Mississippi River Valley, and that trough will be generating a bit of a low-pressure area over the western uh, part of the Great Lakes with a cold front trailing down into the lower Mississippi River Valley. So it looks like the best threat for rain for central Alabama is going to come Wednesday afternoon and evening. And going to be very um, hopeful, cautiously optimistic that we could see some rain. I, I'm afraid that with the shower situation, once again, not everybody's going to get wet. As you can see from the precipital water values, the GFS is suggesting that values could come up on the order of about one and uh, seven tenths or so. So that's enough to perhaps give us a bit of a squall line, not necessarily anything that would be uh, uh, severe but a bit of a, of a line of showers, and maybe that will mean everyone would get wet, but I'm kind of uh, afraid to say that out loud, although I just did, uh, because it prob we probably won't have everybody get wet. That trough zips very quickly into uh, New England on Thursday, and we're watching another one come out of uh, the Rockies by uh, 
Friday, our, our upper ridge, however, is forcing the, the bulk of that uh, and the dynamics with that trough up over the Great Lakes, so we're not likely to see much that day. The ridge is back on Saturday, so once again, uh, we should uh, see temperatures in the 60s. Morning lows generally probably in the 40s. We do see that one coming at us uh, out of the Rockies on Saturday, and that one comes by once again very quickly. The ridge is helping to keep it most of the dynamics further north, but it looks like uh, the GFS is trying to uh, promote the idea of some rain over the southeastern U.S. Uh, along with uh, that front. So um, once again, cautiously optimistic that we might see a rain chance on Sunday. Looking out into voodoo country, there is a very substantial trough coming out of the Rockies on Tuesday, the 29th of November. You can see that closed low uh, over uh, extreme southeastern Nebraska and, and northeastern uh, Kansas. Uh, that, unfortunately, because of our ridge, moves up into the Great Lakes, but it leaves a big trough behind over the Four Corners area. And that's good because that trough then comes out across the Mississippi River Valley on um, uh, the 2nd of December, and that could spell a pretty significant uh, rain event for uh, the southeastern U.S., uh, and then another one is there around the 5th of December. So the screaming message we're getting from uh, voodoo country is that the pattern is going to stay very progressive and very active. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. James Spann should be back with the next one first thing on Monday morning. Have a great day. Stay warm. Don't forget those pets and any sensitive plants uh, for the freeze uh, warning for tonight. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Godspeed.